Oh, this one too. Mm -hmm. Soldier was helping out at the harbor and Thompson's brain flying while the docks was being closed due to a storm coming. Thomas and Percy then arrived double heading the train of snow cars. It may be sunny now, me hearties, said Salty, but there's a storm coming this way, and he roared away to shunt some more cars. It may be sunny now, matey, but there's a storm coming, said Thomas. There's a fierce storm on the way, Captain, Percy added. Salty heard this and felt down. Sir Tom had then arrived. You have to collect Fergus and take him to the sheds. His driver can sense the storm's coming. Yes, sir, sighed Salty. He was glad he was going to the works. He didn't want to be insulted. Then Lady arrived. What's wrong, Salty? she asked. Arr, no one wants to be insulted by some cheeky engines, said Salty. <laughs> Lady knew that she had to find Thomas and Percy at once. At the harbor, Thompson Percy was still saying what Salty had said earlier. Those clouds must be coming from the storm, matey, said Thomas. There's a fierce storm in the way, Captain, Percy replied. It's not nice how to copy the way of others speak, Lady said. You heard Salty's feelings. We're just having fun, said Percy. We'll apologize at once, said Thomas. But as soon as they arrived at the station, Salty wasn't there. They were worried. At the worst, Salty found Fergus. Right on time, he congratulated. I said Salty. But we must hurry. There's a storm coming. The two engines were hooked up and made their way to the sheds. Salty was right about the storm. It was indeed a fierce one. The ships and barges at sea decking up on the lighthouse to keep them safely off the rocks. Then there's trouble. A candle whale. The generator started to buzz like angry bees and it flicked the rocks like lightning. Then the lighthouse turned off. The lighthouse lamp has gone out, cried the captain. Sophie and Fergus were fighting on the roof with rain and wind. Salty then saw a lantern near the station. The lighthouse keeper was waiting. The lamp had gone out. The generator is broken, he called. Salty then had an idea. Ford just has a flywheel and it was a repair today. And it could power the generator, said Salty. Hurry! The lighthouse shouted. Fergus's flywheel was attached to the generator shaft. But the lighthouse ship was steaming towards the rocks. Fergus rolled his voice And with a blink of an eye, the generator came back to light, and the power was back on. The lighthouse's light shone across the sunny sea once more. Just in time, cried the captain. Hard to the starboard, matey. Soldier's idea had saved the day. 
Fergus worked extra hard in the first flight. The next morning, the Anthems arrived at North Napaford Harbor. And we and were surprised to see a crowd waiting. Thank you, said the captain. You saved our ship from crashing into the rocks. Well done, Sir Tom had added. Thompson first arrived. We were sorry for copying you yesterday, said Thomas. We were doing it because we think you're grand, said Ed Percy. Then say no more, me hearties, said Salty. Now the engines would all work together in peace and have fun just like good friends always do.